everybody, Josh R. Vaynerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And uh, it's no secret to anyone who's watched a bunch of these, we sell a lot of campers, we carry a lot of different campers. And I've always said that they're all the best for a different reason. They all have different benefits and advantages. And something I wanted to zero in on here are the benefits and drawbacks to things like single axle versus tandem axle camping. Now there are some tri-axle RVs, um, those tend to fall only into the bigger giant segments. It's more of a specialized thing and basically it's only there because the things weigh so much it's really good to have a third axle. So I, I want to focus more on the most common segments of the market. The single axle versus a tandem. Now, uh, things with single axles here. Biggest thing is they're going to weigh less and they're going to cost less. Because uh, of the, the weight restrictions you can place on a single axle, it's kind of a cascade effect. Uh, you tend to be on a smaller, lighter weight chassis. The RV tends to be smaller, it tends to sit lower to the ground, so as a result, the whole darn thing tends to weigh less and cost less. Those are awesome, awesome factors. There's a drawback though. God forbid that tire goes flat, this thing is going to get really squirrely behind you really quick and it's not going to be fun getting it brought down from general towing speed to uh, you know, uh, limping it down to the, the shoulder where you can get a, a, a tire changed. So that's kind of, that's really one of the biggest drawbacks right there. Single axle RVs tend, they're not always, but they tend to be narrow body. So there's some things like the teardrop style campers, they're only five foot wide up to, you know, when you start seeing things like these Wolf Pups or the little J-Flight SLXs, they're seven foot wide. That's a more common narrow body. Then we start getting into some specialized things like these Geo Pros, the Apex Nanos that you see here. They're seven and a half foot wide, but they're still narrow body. They're still on a single axle. Funny thing here is when the body gets narrow and light like that, a narrow axle will tend to wiggle more when you're going down the road. It doesn't tend to track as straight and true. So that's where seven and a half wide campers can actually be kind of nice. Now, as long as you got plenty of vehicle, you know, that's none of that is an issue. So that's a that's actually a, an aspect of narrow uh, body camping, single axle camping. A lot of people don't talk about is the in the way that even though it tows nicer because it's lighter and it's easier to handle, it doesn't tow as nice because it is a short length single axle. So it tends to be jumpy. Have you ever seen somebody towing um, like a little um, lawnmower trailer? or like a uh, um, jet ski trailer. Those little suckers are hopping all over, but they're usually being towed by a vehicle big enough that you just don't care. Now, when we go over to tandem axles, immediately you're going to jump weight and cost for a lot of reasons. The moment you go to tandem axles, our uh, cargo carrying capacity goes up. Because of that, because that's a, an, a potential, the chassis will get bulkier, the structure tends to get bulkier. So suddenly, you jump from small, less expensive, and lighter weight, and then you make this hop over here to where everything weighs more, costs more, but can carry more. And there's very, very little kind of in between. There are very few brands that make uh, narrow body tandem axle campers. Now we carry some of those here at Halo RV, wouldn't you know? Because chances are, if it's on wheels, we got it. But what you'll see is this interesting price point and weight break point where like, You'll go from a trailer like this that weighs maybe 3,000 to 3,400 pounds if it does or doesn't have a slide. And then suddenly you just straight jump over to tandem axle trailers, even if it didn't have a slide out, they suddenly start at about 4,000 pounds and go up from there. There's like a six, 800 pound gap between, and there's a lot of people who would really, really like a trailer that fits into that, but there's not really a lot of trailers that really do fit into it nicely. Um, Occasionally, you'll find a tandem axle travel trailer that only weighs about 36, 700 pounds. Usually, uh, especially in an eight wide camper, to get to that kind of weight, it means that they probably had to reduce structure to get there. That's the wrong way to reduce weight, but it is the less expensive way to reduce weight. So that's why it's attractive to some people. Now, tandem axle benefits here. Because you have two axles, the trailer's less inclined to do this. It's less inclined to do this. It tracks nicely behind you. God forbid one of those tires gives up the ghost, you've got yourself a nice little safety net right here. So, as with many of my videos, there's no definitive answer on what, what method is the best. There's advantages to the smaller, lighter, single axle campers. There's advantages to the bigger, heavier, more expensive tandem axle campers. 
The trick here is identifying which one best fits your wants and needs, your budget, and of course, your towing restrictions. Because as always, safety comes before the sale at Haywood RV. Now, again, as you can see as I move around here, we have no shortage of different things to look at. I'm staring at about 600 different RVs right now. Like right there, a little no slide tandem axle camper weighs about 4,000 pounds. We have stuff like that. You want a little single axle camper that weighs 3,000 or less, we have that stuff too. We have a little bit of everything here. What we need, folks, we need the opportunity to get to know you, to understand your wants, your needs, your expectations, so we are best equipped to be able to uh, outfit you with the RV that best fits those wants, needs, and expectations. And the more we get to know about you, the, the more likely we are to help you find an RV that you'll enjoy long term instead of just short term. So give us a chance, give us that call, and you know, if you appreciate the efforts that we do in videos like this, Give us a fair opportunity to earn your business. Short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Haylet camping everyone.